Recently on stream I crafted my newly acquired 6 link astral plate body armor for my righteous firestormer. And as I do not craft all that often, I learned a lot during the process. In this video I want to share my newly gained knowledge with you on how to get a solid armor based 6 link, how to color the sockets efficiently and then craft it into a good armor piece to use. First of all, to acquire my 6 link astral plate, I found the divination card Celestial Justica. This drops in the crypt level 2 in act 2 merciless and in the crypt tier 1 map. This is probably not news to many of you, but I thought I'd still mention it for the few of you who might not know it yet. Most people seem to be able to drop at least one of two of those, investing several hours of farming into merciless crypt or running around 50 or so crypt maps. I was not so lucky and ended up buying them all. But I was very patient, waiting several days to get good deals and I ended up buying 4 of the cards for 30 chaos each and 2 of the cards for 35 chaos each. For a total of 190 chaos or around 3.5 exalts in Talisman Hardcore. Once I had the 6 link it was time to color the sockets. For my firestorm build I need 4 blue sockets and 2 red sockets. I used the Verici Chromatics calculator to find out which is the best way to obtain those colors. Link in the video description. You put in the number of sockets of the item, the attribute requirements and which colors you want the sockets to be. It will then show you the average cost of chromatics for each crafting option as well as the standard deviation. For items, the attribute requirements influence how likely it is to roll which color of sockets. Red sockets roll more often the more strength the item requires. Green sockets are facilitated by higher dex requirements and the blue sockets roll more easily on high int requirement items. On the flip side, rolling so called off colors becomes more difficult the higher the attribute requirements are. That means rolling many blue sockets and green sockets on a high strength base will be very difficult. So far so good. But now for the twist. You can roll a mod on items that reduces the attribute requirements. This is really helpful if you want to roll a lot of off-color sockets on an item like I was planning to do. With my 4 blue sockets on an astral plate. A base astral plate has a 180 strength requirement and using the Verici craft for 2 blue sockets I would normally use about 940 chromes to craft the sockets I need. But if I get the 18% reduced attribute requirement roll, the astral plate now only needs 148 strength to wear. This reduces the cost of the 2 blue Verici craft to around 770 chromes on average, which is quite a bit lower. And if you manage to roll the minus 32% attribute requirement roll, you only need 123 strength to wear the astral plate. This reduces the average chrome cost to 630 and it also now makes it better to use the one blue Vurici craft. So you can save around 200 chromes doing this. Considering alterations and chromatics are worth about the same at the moment in Talisman Hardcore, it can be very well worth it to try and roll for a reduced attribute requirement roll on your chest piece if you want to roll a lot of off-color sockets. But at the end of the day it is still all luck based of course. And you can only try and put the odds in your favor as much as possible. From then on I scoured the chest piece, because it was now blue, to ulk it and just use chaos orbs on it until I got a combination of mods that left me with a high life roll and a solid armor roll. You can also use scour orbs and ulk orbs instead of chaos of course. Make sure you check for open prefixes to craft flat or increased armor or open suffixes to craft strength which gives you added life at half of its value when crafting an armor piece like this. This is the end result and I might recraft it at some point as it is really good but not great. I hope this was helpful to you and a big thanks goes out to all the stream viewers who helped me understand and learn more about crafting. Feel free to subscribe or check out my channel for more content like this. I'm Yoji and I will see you soon.